This video is literally going to revolutionize Transport Fever 2. Let me show you this amazing trick. You're going to want to watch this. So your Transport Fever 2 save is probably going to look a little bit like this. Lots of cars queuing up to cross an intersection. So most people go, hang on a second, there's a lot of cars here, let's try and make it better. And they go down here to this road tab and then street constructors and place a roundabout. So this is the sort of thing you'll see most of the time on Transport Fever 2 Let's Plays, but it's actually wrong. Oh, <laughs> bit controversial there. Anyway, let me show you how you do it properly because this is so, so efficient. Here we go. So let's start off. We'll get rid of this roundabout because it's actually pretty useless. Okay, and now we've done that, we're going to go to street constructors, then to the roundabout. We're going to make the inner radius 40 or more. That is crucial. It must be 40 or higher, okay? Then we're going to press number of lanes, number two. And we're going to go to the middle part of this intersection right in the middle and click to place and then get rid of these little strands in the middle. Okay, so we've made it better. But hang on a second. Have we really? Because all we've done is added an extra lane that cars can queue in. We've not actually fixed the problem of cars queuing. So I see YouTubers go, oh, okay, we'll just make it bigger to fix it. Which you might think makes sense. It doesn't, okay? It doesn't. As you can see, the queues aren't getting any better. If anything, they're getting worse. So let's go back to the roundabout and I want to show you something. It's very simple but you've probably missed it. Here we go. Can you see something strange about these road markings here? There's two forward arrows and one right turn arrow, and they're all using the same lane, right? There's barely any cars in this lane, if any. So the outside lane is always a priority for the AI cars, so they're always going to be in this lane if they're given two options. Okay, so how do we fix it? So following this rule that I'm about to tell you is literally going to revolutionize how you play this game. And it's going to make traffic flow 100 times better. Okay, so go to roads and then go to the one way, one lane highway ramp. A bit of a tongue twister there. And uh, click on that and then go to the upgrade tool. Now hold down shift and then you can click on that. And there you go. Now this is a one lane road. You might see there's a little bit of a traffic building up here, but this flow over here is a hundred times better. I mean, look at that. It's flowing so much more smoothly now we've done that. Okay, so the traffic's starting to flow a little bit more smoothly now, as you can probably see, but we are getting stuck up on these corners here. There's a lot of people waiting to get onto the roundabout, which we can fix as well. Don't worry. Here we go. Okay, so let's get this on ramps. So you're going to get the one lane road and you're going to go from the start here and you're going to count back 10 lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 and right in the middle of that you're going to click and you're going to drag this over here but you're not going to connect it you're going to go as tight as you possibly can like that and you're going to try and keep it as straight as possible and just bring it back to the point where it's about halfway and then we're going to press tick just like that now we we'll switch over to the curved mode grab the one lane road and bring this into there just like that and you can see we get a much smoother entrance now onto the roundabout and then upgrading this middle road to a one lane road and if you want to take it one step even further you can even do this so go to the road tool Hold down shift and then you want to go on the first section of the road. Just make this a one lane road. And then now they have the choice to split at the start of the road. Instead of halfway along, they have to frantically change lanes. They can just change here. Go to tools and make sure this lock icon is making all your roads go blue. See, I missed one there. You can actually do it for all the roads if you want to. That's what I usually do. If you've ever played this game, you know that the cities built by the AIs are absolutely just gridlocked. The worst thing you can do in this entire game is to just build bigger roads because they don't actually fix any of the problems. So for example, if someone wants to go forward, right, across this junction, but if someone wants to turn right, they're both going to use this same lane. No one's going to use this middle lane. It just won't be considered by the AI. And then left turn, it will be this lane. No straight forward, just a left turn on this one. I know it says a forward arrow on the left turn as well, but think about it for a second. If they're in the leftmost lane, that means they're turning left, and that includes the next left as well. So they're just going to stick to one lane the whole way there. They're not going to use a straight road literally 99% of the time. And you'll see this in any save pretty much. And the really sad thing I see, most people use this in the center of a city. Very, very sad times. Okay, so you've got the biggest roads just like this, and now go to this section here, and you want to go back to Large Street. Remember, the game has given you several options for a reason. The biggest is not the best, okay? Grab this large street here with the one tool, shift and click on these four corners here. So it's a little bit smaller. And now go back to here and grab yourself a medium one-way street or a small one-way street. Personally, I'm a fan of the medium one. They take the same amount of traffic. It's just the medium one-way street has the option to turn left and right in two different lanes, okay? Bear that in mind. Okay, so we've put this in just like that. You can see that's looking good. But if we put this in like that, it says construction not possible. And for some reason, I don't know why it does this. It, 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 you have to do it a certain way. Uh, so we'll get rid of this here. And then you're going to go with this road and just build it out a little bit like that. And then a little bit like that on this side. We're going to do this for all of these corners here. Now, it might glitch out if you don't do it in the correct place. So if you do it here, for example, it's going to move this sort of road to a different type. We don't want that. 
So you want to go in this little grey area where there's no road markings into it. Okay, perfect. And that's that. So now all you got to do is link them up with a curve. It might look a bit funky. You can play around with this and it does look much better if you play around with it. For example, you can delete this curve and you can instead use a straight road. And that does look slightly better depending on who you talk to. You can use either though. There you go. It's, a, it's really wonky now, but you can see the idea of what I'm going for. Um, but yeah, just play around with this and make it look pretty because it does really work once you get it. And then all you got to do is make sure, because obviously this is like a right turn thing, uh, you have to make sure that these all go right, which can be tricky to do. You just have to, have to right click a few times. And then if you get these sort of arrows here that says no entry, it's an easy fix. Just with the magic wand tool out, just right click on the road and it changes the flow of direction. Uh, and then you can change it back. Um, and then for some reason it doesn't let you do it at junctions, but it does let you do it on the road to subside it. And anyway, little bits and bobs that can be improved by the game. Okay, so now I've taught you the basics. I want you just to think for a second, what's wrong with this junction? Did you get it? It's that we're missing a lane here. So we hold shift, click here, 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 and here. And there you go. That's what we were missing. So now we've done that. If somebody wants to turn right, they can go down here and they can actually choose which lane they want to be in for left or right turns. And don't forget as well to turn off the traffic lights because they're actually not needed at these junctions because these are just slip lanes. But I would leave them on definitely for the middle one. And now in the middle lanes, this one is right turn, this one is left turn for this middle section here, as you can see. So this one, left and right, go back here, forward into those left and right turns. We're getting into hierarchy here, but here's a quick note. Make sure that these intersections aren't too close together as well. I'll be putting out another video talking about road arteries because that's incredibly important, but more of that at the end of this video. All you need to know for this video in particular is that you can't put these main arteries, AKA the big roads, too close together. So this is too close, right? So we're gonna delete this one and that's where it's gonna go instead. A little bit more difference in between the two. If you want it to look a bit more pretty, you can use the build with collision tool, which I have a video explaining, which will be in the top right for you, but watch that after this video. So let's try it out with some traffic. I'm just gonna put some railway track down in the middle as well. And this will stop AI building houses inside the roundabout, which is a bit random, but you can actually use assets from the Steam Workshop that are invisible to block this as well. I'm just gonna use this because I don't need it to look pretty. <laughs> Okay, so all the cars are now in. It's the exact same amount of towns, exact same size. Now, this is what the traffic looks like on the side where we've messed about with the roads and one-way roads. It's looking pretty all right. We've only got like four cars waiting. By the way, with traffic lights on as well. Yeah, not too many cars waiting here. It's looking pretty smooth. Now, let's go check out without this. Okay, and this is what it looks like without our one-way roads. I think it's pretty obvious. I don't have to tell you this isn't very good. <laughs> Look at this, this is what I told you. They all use the same lane. That's why you must, must, must use one-way roads. They are so essential in Transport Fever 2. But whoa, 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 don't you click off the video just yet. There's one more thing that I need to teach you and that's how you actually lay out roads correctly because every single person does this wrong as well and it really grinds my gears, but it's all right because it's an easy mistake. So check out this video on screen right now which tells you how to properly design roads in your city for the essential traffic flow. Check it out. Fish. 